Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we will be talking about the new Asus Laptop M1503. So I hope you guys enjoy and don't forget to subscribe the channel is very important for me and is the way you have to support my work. Thank you for that and let's start. Since launching the first laptop with OLED, Asus has been using this type of screen instead of LCD. These have the advantage of offering more saturated colors and, since they are backlit, the blacks are really black and not something strangely dark gray. The OLED screen of this VivoBook is surrounded by a very thin frame on three sides and the camera, which is at the top of the screen, does not interfere with its width, in addition, it still has a piece that covers the lens when it is not being used. Full Keyboard the build quality of the VivoBook is very good, despite being all plastic, the finish gives it a metallic look where everything blends in well. In terms of design, I only have one thing to point out, the tilde key is very close to the enter key and the latter is too small. Naturally, until the user gets used to it, he will put a few more accents, instead of going to the next line, while he is typing. Even so, the keyboard is comfortable and has a numerical part, very useful for those who work with spreadsheets and other applications that need to enter a lot of values. The touchpad, on the other hand, being somewhat imprecise, serves only to manage when you can't use a mouse, like practically all touchpads on laptops. VivoBook has four USB connections, one of them USB-C, and one HDMI. As you'd expect, there's also a 3.5mm jack for microphone and headphones. One of the things that allowed Asus to create a balanced machine, and with a very interesting price, was the choice of processor, an AMD Ryzen 7 4800H with integrated Radeon graphics, here accompanied by 16GB of RAM memory and 512GB of SSD. In some countries, a version with a 5000 series processor is also available, a little more expensive, but suitable for those who need more calculation power. Interesting Performance this notebook offers an overall performance similar to that of several computers with a latest generation Intel processor, which was a pleasant surprise. In terms of graphics performance, it fell short of expectations. The fact that it has a weaker GPU, combined with the fact that it is sharing the DDR4 RAM memory with the rest of the system, this memory is slower than the DDR5 found in the latest generation Intel, makes the performance something disappointing. A curious aspect is that, visually, there are no flaws in the reproduction of images during the tests, but the numbers are not deceiving, this machine is not suitable for very elaborate games. Finally, the battery, in the tests, which simulate real use of the computer, the VivoBook lasted 10 and a half hours. This means that you can leave the house to work with a charged battery and no need to carry the transformer behind you. Processor, AMD Ryzen 7 4800H Memory 16 GB DDR4 Storage, SSD 512 GB M.2 NVMe PCA 3.0 Graphic Card, AMD Radeon Graphics Screen, 15.6 inches, FHD, 1920x1080, OLED 16.9 Connections, 3x USB, USB-C, HDMI 1.4, 3.5mm jack Dimensions, 356.8 by 227.6 by 19.9 millimeters. Weight, 1.70 kilograms. So once again, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.